Hello, friends. Today, my best friend and guard dog Tora and I will be reviewing Wild Earth dog food and treats. <coughs> this right here is the look Tora gives me whenever we've accidentally missed her feeding time, even if it's only 20 minutes. I get the feeling she must be hiding a wristwatch somewhere I'm not aware of. Today we are switching back to Wild Earth Clean Protein Dog Food. I say switch back because she has already eaten it for about six months previously, but circumstances with us switching locations forced me to end the subscription for it a while ago. And besides, I have a theory that it's good to switch up a dog's diet every once in a while, both for the same reasons as there are for humans to eat a varied diet, but mostly for the same reason that drew me to a plant-based dog food in the first place. When Tora was a puppy, when I first rescued her, she was fairly underweight and malnourished. I went straight for the top shelf kibble and also experimented with various other high grade foods. Then news came of a lawsuit involving high concentrations of heavy metals in the particular dog food that I had paid top dollar for for quite some time. I did quite a bit of research and found that it was rather common for pet foods to contain things like heavy metals, not to mention hormones or anti antibiotics that make their way into pet foods primarily through the protein source, the meat or fish. On top of that, I also found other questionable ingredients, fillers and foods that simply aren't suited for dogs. While working in a pet shop for a while, a few years back, I adopted the practice to swap between a few top shelf brands. My theory was that perhaps the rotation would prevent accumulation of any bad substance that might be present in one particular dog food. Pet food is definitely not as rigorously regulated as human food. Not that human food in the US is particularly well regulated either, but it's often very hard to find information about where the pet food brands source their ingredients, in particular the protein source it turns out. At the pet store where I once worked, they had tried compiling an extensive list of origins for various ingredients in many pet food brands, but it still had many many gaps. Many pet food companies simply didn't seem like they want to give up that information. I have myself eaten a plant-based diet for many years now, and although I was comfortable with the thought that a dog's diet is based on animal products, it never really sat well with me to think that the meat Tora was getting was probably not quite of the quality I would hope, and neither was I really happy that my lifestyle of having a dog still made me contribute to the abominable practices of factory farming one of the main reasons I decided to give up meat myself. It should be said that Tora is by no means a vegan. She definitely gets meaty treats every once in a while, and I definitely don't hold it against her if she decides to hunt for her own meat. To be honest, I think that any meat eater with some self-respect should be able to do that. Anyway, the makers of Wild Earth dog food seem to have taken great care in order to develop a dog food based around nutritional yeast, a dog food that is clean, high in protein, and still appealing in taste to canines. Tora definitely seems to like it. The owner of the company even boasts in one of their commercials that he is willing to eat it and eats a few pieces of kibble on camera. I can attest to also having tried this kibble for myself. Although it's nothing that I would snack on regularly, I think it tastes just fine. The size of the kibble is fairly large. They are round pellets rather than the more common flat discs. It does seem like Tora needs to work fairly hard to chew it. If I remember my veterinarian's words right, that's a good thing for their teeth. However, I think it could be a problem if you have a dog that's any smaller than my Tora. Come on, Mom. I know you want to give me some more of that food. One thing they haven't quite gotten right, in my opinion, is the packaging. I've been buying the larger bag to save a little bit of money, and pretty much every other bag I've gotten has broken a bit by the Ziploc, even though I take care when opening the bag. You can see here that this bag won't seal properly, which is a bit of a shame. I transfer as much of it as possible into this airtight container, but it only holds about one-fourth of the big bag. If you order straight from the company, you can choose to have it as a subscription 
description and choose exactly how often you receive a delivery. I think I have finally figured out that Tora needs one big bag about every seven weeks. At the time of the making of this video, an 18 pound bag goes for $70. However, if you do have the continuous subscription, you get 10% off, so that becomes $63. I often use those seven extra dollars to throw a bag of their peanut butter treats into the order. Tora seems to really like them as well. I mean, who doesn't like peanut butter? I think she has definitely eaten this food long enough for me to determine that she seems to be really healthy and happy while eating it. Tora is a super active dog that lives a very free life out on the land. She spends most of her days patrolling and securing an ever wider perimeter around the van. I think I've said it before, but I will say it again. I'm not sure if I could do van life without her. She's my everyday companion and also importantly my alarm system. There's no way I would give her food that I didn't think was good for her. While kibble might not be the fanciest of foods, it is definitely one of the few workable options for dog food when you live in a van. So I'm very happy that I've found Wild Earth. If you and your dog would like to try it out, they have a great promotional offer that all of their members with a subscription can benefit from. If you use my discount code placed in the description below, you will receive 60% off the first bag in your subscription. And as a bonus, you will also help me and Tora get a discount on our next bag. You're allowed to cancel your subscription at any time. And once you have your own subscription, you will also get a discount code that you can share with your friends. This applies to all of their customers. So if you decide to use our discount code to try them out, thank you, thank you, thank you from both me and my beautiful fur child. But she can tell you that herself. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this review has helped you make the decision whether or not you would like to try out Wild Earth Dog Food for your best friend.